we've been doing community service since about 2005. We pretty much got a rolling start when Katrina happened. And I heard about the 35 refugees at one of our hotels and my eyes just filled with tears. We were able to serve these people for about a month. And then we worked with one of the churches that fed the homeless twice a week. Hunger in Michigan and the United States isn't a problem of food, it's a problem of logistics. There's plenty of food to go around, it's just getting the food to the right people. And I think Sue and her program really solves that logistics problem, at least in her community. We take for granted every day going home, cooking a meal, and eating in our own home, but our less fortunate folks that are homeless don't have that. She became a crucial part to the community when she decided, I'm not going to let this food go to waste. I'm going to get it where it's needed. We deal with five pantries, transitional housing, we have soup kitchens, we have teen groups that have 80 to 200 kids that show up for their events. So it's a blessing to all these people that we're able to be a part of this. You know, once a month we do the pizza and the kids love that. It's like special for them. And we do open mic night where they get a chance to get up on the mic and sing or share their story, read a poem. To be able to see that there's a business that cares about the future generation is very important. So we have brokers that'll donate food, we have the food companies that'll donate food, we have retail companies that have extra food. I'm not going to let anything go to waste. We both want to make sure that no one goes hungry, and there's too many going hungry in this country. We're business owners that want to give back to the community. Whatever God gives us, we'll take that quantity, make it into something that's edible, and go and distribute it to the people. And, and they just feel so blessed that people care about them. And I learned a long time ago, if I put God first, He will make room for everything else. Whatever we give, we're going to get back tenfold down the road. you got to give back to the community. And that's why we do what we do, is because it changes the lives of the people we deal with. We can take our community back by getting people involved, getting the churches involved, getting the businesses involved, and to think that just by saying yes and everybody doing their part, this isn't what I do, I'm a conduit. There's so many things that so many people are doing with all this food and I'm just amazed that I can be a small part of the work that God has done.